Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today. We're gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me, try a ton of new products, mostly e.l.f., some ColourPop, sent over, look how cute, these baby foundations and they're glass and so that they don't have to send over the whole range. How cool is that? It's the hydrating foundation. Anyways, we're gonna do, like I said, a chit chat, get ready with me. If you're tired of hearing about my dog, it's consumed my life because I feel like I am like watching a toddler. We're gonna talk about that, the updates on that, and what I found in my backyard. The creature I was talking about in my last chit chat, get ready with me. Oh my gosh. Let's start off with our eyes first because we're doing a lot of eyeshadow today. And I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done or tried e.l.f. eyeshadow, so I don't know if it falls out, so that's why I'm gonna use it today. I'm gonna put a P. Louise base down first and then just start applying eyeshadow. I had to do things during COVID that I didn't want to because I realized it's been so long since I moved here. I've lived in Texas for six months. How did that happen? By the way, look at these new brushes from e.l.f. How adorable. They're salmon with like little pink tips and they're like rainbow kind of. Retro paradise is the thing. Cute and they're soft, but I've had to do so many things during this COVID thing because it's lasting forever, especially in Texas. The numbers keep getting higher and higher. While I'm recording this, our new numbers have in Houston, I think, have been 10,000 new cases. It's insane. So I've had to do things that I didn't want to do, which is go to the dentist. I have had, we think it was a cavity. It was like this little black spot that was not going away in the back molars of my teeth and it was actually aching me and I was scared that what if I got an infection? What if it goes too far? Because I've had it since like February, I wanna say, or March, and it's July. So I went and hauled my butt at the end of June over to the dentist. It was this little black tar spot, disgusting sounding, I know. And my dentist, she's so kind, so nice. If you know me, the things I hate the most is doing taxes and dentists, and I had to do both of those recently. Hate them. I would rather someone stick toothpicks under my fingernail beds than do taxes and go to the dentist in the same week. I don't know what it is about dentists, but they terrify me even more than doctors because I feel like I don't know if they're correct on what they tell me. I feel like dentists could like easily scam you more than doctors. I could be wrong and I never leave there feeling correct or like right, like I'm healthy or anything. They always have something bad to tell me and it's not like I have a terrible teeth. My teeth are actually pretty good for not ever having braces in my life, which I actually thought braces were cool growing up, but so I had this black spot in the back of my tooth that I thought was my face rotting apart. I don't know what it is. I hate the word filament and I hate the word cavity and I hate teeth in general. Just that it is exposed like, ugh. So like I said, my dentist, she's so good that she takes your blood pressure. You have to go in with a mask or else you won't get seated, which I love. You have to take a questionnaire to see if you've been sick or not. And we had to do this with my dog's first vet visit as well. It was like curbside. You had to bring masks, the whole ordeal. But my dentist is, my new dentist out here is so good that she makes sure that my blood pressure isn't too high before I get um, any type of pain relief so that it won't be spiked up even more. If you see little dots, I'm having like heat rash and mosquito bites, that's another ordeal. But my blood pressure was kind of high and I didn't made sure I didn't have coffee and she's like, are you stressed? And I'm like, yes, I just got a puppy and like a lot of stuff in my personal life and it was just an ordeal. But the cool thing was she had this other option where she could sandblast my tooth or like, it's like a form of sandblasting but for your teeth so that she got all of this little nook and cranny where the, like the black speck was out of my tooth with a sandblaster and it was half the price of what she was gonna do. So holla, oh my God. This is so pretty. This green is giving me extraterrestrial X-Files. It's called Baja Mar in this e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. Oh my gosh. I've been stopping doing monthly favorites because I feel like no one cares about them but me. But I have so many favorites that to show you, but 
this would definitely be in there. And I've only dipped into two colors so far. This is sea salt and this is Baja Mar. We're gonna dip into Sip Sip. But yeah, so she sand, tooth sandblasted my tooth to the point where it was like gritty. And then I had to rinse out the grit from my teeth. Cause it's like little teeth particles. It sounds disgusting. I hate the dentist. Just everything about it, disgusting. When they floss in your gum, everything about it, can't stand it. <laughs> so update on my Kina baby. She is growing into her personality and her big feet. Her feet are getting bigger. And we've noticed that she hates, she wants to like sleep in a pitch black back dark room. She hates like bright lights when she's trying to sleep to the point where she goes like this with her paws over her eyes. It's the cutest thing when she's trying to sleep or she digs her face in pillows and it looks like she's trying to suffocate herself or something or hiding from someone. But that's just her trying to escape the sunlight. She's such a freaking cute dog. I love her so much. So she started barking. We didn't even know she barked. But recently, since I feel, since you last heard me talk about her, her, her new thing is barking. Dogs bark is a form of communication because they don't know what else to do. They can't speak to you. So we were trying to figure out what she's trying to communicate to us. I have some dog training books on the way. I cannot wait to read them. And we found out she's barking when we are eating dinner or any type of meal. She gets like jealous. I'm surprised that pastel purple is actually pretty. So, or I mean not, not pretty, but like works. So what I did was to help alleviate that a little bit, which will make us stop snacking is we used to give her food um, half of it like for her weight half the food in the morning and half the food um, for dinner time Before we take her for walks and stuff and I found out that if I I'm so glad I did this before my foundation but I found out that if I feed her when we eat three times a day we won't be snacking as much and She will feel less left out although she always always finishes eating before us at least they'll give us some time to re relieve her feeling left out from being from eating because we're eating too so that's helped a little bit and then when she finishes before us she comes over to us and starts barking sometimes so when that happens we'll like give her a chew toy out in the yard because she loves being out in the yard laying in the sun we make sure it's before nighttime because the creature guys update on the creature that i told you about in our backyard oh my gosh it turns out Corey went out there at like 4 30 in the morning sometimes he wakes up a lot earlier than me to have the dog relieve herself he took her outside it turns out he saw the creature and it turns out it's nesting in the far corner where their leaves in behind one of those machine turbine things in our backyard and it turns out it's an armadillo one of the most dirtiest like creepy odd they're actually endangered so we're not going to of course like kill it or anything we're trying to figure out a way to shoo it or lure it away lure it away we heard mothballs may work but then i read that it might not work because it could be poisonous to certain other animals and species. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I've heard vinegar may work, but it's definitely an armadillo. Luckily, the armadillo is afraid of my dog. I feel like naming it, but then I don't want to like have it welcomed and stayed. So on top of the armadillo, us having to put our dog on a leash to have her go potty in, at night, because armadillo, this one especially is nocturnal. It comes out around two and five in the morning. It's as big as our puppy, so we put her on a leash, like I said, when she goes potty. It's lizard mating season and cicada season. So there's these giant prehistoric looking bugs that shed its like skin and leaves a shell of its skin behind. And there's baby lizards everywhere. We even have a lizard right now somewhere in our house and we don't even mind because Hopefully it'll eat the bugs, and I think lizards are cute, but armadillos are cute too, but they do carry a lot of like diseases and stuff. But oh my gosh, my puppy, we've been trying to figure out ways for her to play indoors while I'm working because it's so hot outside and I don't want her to be left alone, especially at night she gets playful with the armadillo outside. So we got her this puzzle ball that a viewer showed me 
It's amazing. You put kibble or ch little tiny treats in it and the treats or kibble has to go through like these multi levels of a puzzle in this plastic ball that you seal up. It comes in three inches and I think four inches for bigger dogs. I think we got the four incher. She loves it. We have a robotic ball and we have this ball. But this one gets pretty loud in on hardwood especially because it works best. Well, no, it works really good on carpet too. But she loves it. I would highly recommend it. I'll leave it in the description box below if I remember. Like it's getting so hot here. It's like 95 to 98 but feels like over 100. All right, I'm going to clean these sides of this and put foundation on. Let me put on my corrector first. I've noticed this dog, her nasty habits are she loves eating squirrel poop. We have a family of squirrels in our backyard because we have some of the biggest trees in our neighborhood and on our property. So there's this family of squirrels that likes playing on top of my covered patio on my house. It's like their party room. It's like they don't know what quarantine is. They're out partying. So they play out there and they poop and the poop for the patio goes into my yard and my dog finds it and she eats it. I don't know if that's bad for her. I should really look it up. She eats dried squirrel poop, cicadas, her favorite ch food of choice, June bugs. I saw a dead cicada on the floor covered in ants. And this dog decides to go take a nibble of it and eat it with ants covered all over her muzzle. I don't know where she gets her taste. Not for me. I'm also using the new ColourPop sponge. I say new because this looks like a new shape that they came out with that came in PR and it's so squishy and I love giant squishy sponges. I think they gave me all fair and I think I'm light. So we'll see if any of these work. Hopefully that works. Lately I like to put my concealer first though. Let me blend this out. Hopefully this color will work. Yeah, so the cicadas are regurgitating their bodies and then leaving them for my dog to eat. I don't understand her. Like I'll feed her and since we're still eating, she'll be like, let me cry for you because I'm so upset. Our neighbors, oh my gosh. You know when you get a dog and like all the neighbors that have dogs become friendlier with you? I've noticed that whenever I'm somewhere. Is this too light for me? I'll have to bronze it up. This is way too light for me. Let me get my color in a foundation I know that works. Yeah, this is too light. They sent me too light of colors. Since I got a dog, my neighbors all noticed the dog and they all want to pet her and I'm like, hey, she's scared of humans. She is, but I don't, COVID is still rampant. So let's not touch my dog. I know that sounds harsh, but. So our neighbor, she's super nice. She has this beautiful giant female pit bull that is all bark and no bite. Cause she always has people over that dog doesn't bug other people, but it loves to bark at my dog and show its dominance because my dog's also a female and my dog is scared of every other dog, just their bark, not even seeing them. She's never seen this dog. She just smells her through the fence and hears the bark and is scared. So our other neighbors on the other side of us, that my dog could smell. They have a border collie, I think, and definitely a golden retriever. And my dog, Kina, is also a golden retriever with half lab. Sweet, beautiful dogs. They rarely bark, only at my dog. I hear, hardly ever hear them bark. Their owner is a trip, so I'm not the one to spy on my neighbors, but I was out with my dog, and I hear a man whispering, and it freaks me out. It turns out it's my neighbor, and he's outside of his house in his yard because our fence is not that high. It's like six feet. When I'm getting into my house, I can see over the fence and I see him while I'm getting in the house speaking to someone on the other side of their back door saying, you better let me in or else you're gonna get it. And I don't know if he's speaking to his dogs. I know it's just his dogs and his girlfriend there and it scared me, just the tone. You know when someone gives you the chills and they creep you out? That's what happened here. And I told Corey about it and he thought it was weird too. And he says, just don't get into it unless they say something to us. He's the only neighbor in our neighborhood that's never said hi to us. I smile and wave at them and nothing. I don't like want to be best friends with my neighbors. I'm just being friendly, smiling and waving. Hi neighbor, as I just see them and come across their path. So I don't know what that is, but I just had the, you know when you have that gut weird feeling? That's what I got, suspiciousness. 
Maybe it's also because I listen to way too many crime podcast things to the point where that armadillo that was in our backyard sounding like it was gonna bust down the house of, not the house, but like the fence on the side of our house. To that point, like, that's when all of my instincts from the true crime po podcast I listen to kick in. I love this powder by Danessa Myricks. Next level. So my dog, she also is really getting attached to me to the point where Corey's like, I think she likes you more than me, which I don't want to think about that because I don't choose favorite children or dogs and she shouldn't choose favorite parents in my opinion. Plus we equally take care of her. Let me try this highlighter that's like this ghostly, beautiful white glittery highlighter by e.l.f. You know me, highlighters, I love them. All this stuff smells weird though like chemically plastic, not just regular plastic, if that makes sense. Multi-dimensional face and body shimmer. This is in the color Luna. Let's see her on the face. Ooh, I love it. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, it smells like tropical heaven. Love. So my dog, when we got her, she had dark green, beautiful eyes that looked like literally mossy green grass like i can't even explain it like emeralds i'll put a picture of it here when we first got her her eyes gorgeous i'm gonna mix it with the eyeshadow from this that i've been using as the brow bone highlight it's sea salt it's called it's more white but now miss kina's eyes are like a light green mixed with like gray and a little bit of honey it's so interesting how her eyes are changing. So they might even change more because she's only three months right now. Oh my gosh. So we had an AC leak. I was in the bathroom in our guest bathroom one day and I heard dripping like in the hallway near our hall closet. And it turns out that our AC was leaking. We don't know what it was leaking. And we had a call repairman over, which was nerve wracking because at least our repairman followed the social distancing rules where we all had to wear masks in the house, the dog had to be in another room, and we all like stood six feet away from each other. He went to the attic, he went to the top of the roof, he went everywhere in the house to figure out what this leak was. It was just nerve wracking because it's a new era. Getting something fixed isn't the same once this virus is around, especially because we're getting 10,000 new cases a day in our city, but it was fixed. Thank goodness. Oh, I got this hourglass brow that I want to try today. And I've been getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, so I've been doing testing out every single mosquito repellent thing under the sun, literally, you could think of. I spent so much money on mosquito repellent. That's a weird shape brow pencil. That, it's ridiculous. I probably spent over $100, definitely, on mosquito repellent. And I want to make sure I had one that worked before I started uh, tackling the armadillo issue, planting a vegetable garden. We've been like doing yard work and they've been just eating me alive. I've even had some on my neck, my hands, my legs are covered in spots. I'm like a cri walking Krispy Kreme donut to mosquitoes. I went to Hawaii when I was 16 and um, I did tropical jungle hikes with my family and I went scuba diving the tropical jungle hikes, I got 110 mosquito bites on that trip within a 10 day period. I'm surprised I didn't contract anything crazy with my luck. I don't know what it is about mosquitoes. So the Skin So Soft by Avon works, but not as good as the DEET, unfortunately. The Deep Woods off like mosquito repellent. I tried citronella oil, citronella plants, also, I bought some citronella plants because they are not like in season for some reason here in Texas. So I had to have them shipped in. I had six plants shipped in and they were all dead. And I had a delayed shipment that was delayed 10 days. So I'm wondering if they were in a warehouse stuck somewhere for 10 days and died. They poked holes on the sides of the box, but that didn't help, they came dead. So I'm hoping to revive them because some of them are still a little bit alive which was sad. So but I've tried citronella oil, even those wristbands for children that are like, they look like hair ties that have like oil, essential oils and stuff that supposedly keep mosquitoes off you for like 350 hours or something. I even use this Johnson Johnson aloe lotion for babies that helps babies 
stay away from mosquitoes. It keeps the mosquitoes off of children and stuff. That did not work whatsoever for me, but it works for my entire family. And I think I'm allergic to mosquito bites because some of them, they swell up to the size of a golf ball, especially on my thighs, which is scary. I only say it's scary because I've never had that happen to me and my mom gets that. Now I do too sometimes. So if you guys have mosquito repellent ideas, I've used the bracelets, the everything. Um, the deep, deep woods, I have to put it on like two to four times a day because I'll sweat it off. And it's so funny because I have to like be out there in my robe and pajamas to put, give the dog, not a bath, but take the dog out for her morning potty breaks. So I'm out there like spraying my legs and stuff with this DEET early in the morning in my yard looking like a crazy woman in my robe and stuff. Even though it's like already past 80 degrees, my dog must think I'm crazy, but I think she's so cute because she loves watching Netflix with me. We love watching The Chef's Table together. It's so cute. She actually looks at the screen. It's like the perfect dog for me. I'm gonna put on some lashes and lips and I'll be right back. And with that, we're completely done with the look. I added some colored freckles with lashes and a lip. This is so remind me of like Galaxy doll vibes. I don't know, the color combo. I didn't expect this from a retro paradise palette, but this was so fun to do. These colors blew my mind. I could not believe how pigmented they were and they weren't that hard to work with. There wasn't a ton of fallout except for some of the darker shadows, which you should expect mostly on most palettes. I would think Elf knocked it out of the park with this. I did not think that the lavender would come out that bomb. Now I wanna use the warm tones in this palette as well. Everything in this collection, including the lips, I used the Dream On Lip Gloss. It smells like coconut tropical fruit paradise. And I tried a new mascara today, packaging on point. This is the Lash Freak by Urban Decay. I don't know how it holds up my lashes, but it smells familiar. It smells like, you know, bombardment, those rubber balls in PE class in school. That's what this smells like. The wand is so unique and it's easier to get my bottom lower lash lines with this wand. So I hope this works out for me in the long run. Just, I was super impressed by everything. I'm so sad that I could not try that ColourPop foundation because it was way too light for my skin tone. I must have tanned and I, hopefully I don't glow in the dark anymore from being in quarantine for so long. Again, all the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box. But I hope you guys enjoyed my chit chat, get ready with me about my doggy and the mysterious creature that's nesting and living in my backyard. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Leave a comment down below on something little that makes you happy, if it's your puppy. I know it's really difficult times for everybody right now and everyone's go through a lot of hardship, mental depression, and anxiety and panic attacks, I totally understand. Also, a random thing that I really wanna to add to this video, one of my really good friends, Joan, Joan Style Music, who I met through YouTube and I've collaborated on YouTube videos with and looks with, she is going through a really hard time right now and her dog has actually been diagnosed with cancer. Sweet Pea is her name and she's so adorable, so, I know it's a really hard time for everybody right now, but I'm gonna put her GoFundMe link down below if you feel like looking at it or checking it out and donating if you want to. I'm just gonna put it out there because Joan's one of my really good friends and her precious dog should not suffer and the expenses for her medical bills for cancer treatments is very expensive and it's just the right thing to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to hear your comments and subscribe for more videos like this. I do two videos a week, every Monday and Friday. I also do effects videos, not only these beauty makeup videos on Monday, but on Fridays we usually do effects that are crazy and cool with some history and backstory. I'm doing Alice in Wonderland 2.0 series still right now and I hope, I cannot wait for you guys to see that. I love you creators and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.